Hello everyone, this is Elite here, and today I want to share my loot filter for uh, Merchant Skill. And I've been put try to put this uh, together, and yeah, this is a 3.0. Uh, the second point is horrible. <laughs> the first one is even worse. Uh, the third one I think is fine, and it's very straightforward. The red one is basically anything that worth like uh, one million plus, and the orange is. I think 500k into 1 million and the uh, yellow color is one uh, below 500k and for the purple uh, this is basically a double exalted item um, let me show this one something like this one and to be fair I don't know what to do with this item I haven't figured out like um, maybe some of them were summoned like this one uh, does it, the affixes make sense together so maybe this can uh, worth some money but to be fair i haven't sell anything or any of it i just figure out just to collect them first so that's the uh, that's the function of this one and for the blue one is a base for experimental craft uh, it looks something like this and it's basically a item that have a t7 uh, prefixes and the reason for that one um if you go to this website i will leave a link in the descriptions on for this website uh, basically, if you see on the uh, requirement for the tier of the experimental affix, uh, one of them is the item has tier, uh, tier 7 prefix. So, and because tier 7 prefix, you can, you can only get it from, from drops. Um, that's why the load filter is there. That's why we guarantee one. May match the suffixes, I think is easy enough, as long as the suffix is like tier 5, something like that. Uh, but suffixes is uh, easy, easily we can easily uh, fix this one, and seal affix I think also not uh, not going to be that hard. But if we can add everything, we're going to have like T five um, experimental affix. Uh, but of course, that's also uh, considering that we actually can get the uh, experimental affix that we want. And this is for well, for boots. Uh, boots is the hardest one because it's depending on fortune potential, but. Um, yeah, I mean, there's some guide on YouTube for how to craft this kind of uh, items, but if you want it, I think I can uh, make a video about it. And the reason why I haven't made it, because I, I see a lot of people already making it, and, and then I don't think I can offer something more. And that's about the crafting base, and this is why I'm looking for a base that have T7 um, prefix into it. I mean, of course, it's not just... Um, any T7, I have a stat that uh, this is uh, basically minion health, minion damage, uh, movement speed, this is for boots, and we have cast speed, uh, melee test, but this one I think is for gloves, and some attribute T7 attribute is always welcome, and yeah, so this one is basically for um, experimental uh, craft base, and then the next one is uh, all the idol that I know, I do merge some of them just to save space so i can have another slot for doing other things uh, but this is all the idols this is for the fractured crown brace um, basically if uh, fractured crown how you get the item is you need a rune visage the rune visage need to have uh, these two mod uh, mana and damage dealt to mana before health and it's also need to be have and it's also need to have total of 21 tier so one of the need to be at least tier six. So this is why it's, uh, I'm looking for exalted one. Um, and if you can get them, uh, you can craft them and you put a uh, rune of ascendance into that one, it will turn into a uh, fractured crown. And fractured crown is still worth some money. Let me check. I think it's still worth like around a million. Yeah, uh, like a million, a million something. Um, so this is still a good base to get. And the, this other tree is kind of experimental. Um, basically, in a nutshell, this tree is uh, a base that I see as expensive. So let's say that uh, Crystal Skull. Crystal Skull is an expensive base. And some mod, like Spell Critical Structures, it doesn't have much price if it's like on other bases. But if it's on um, Crystal Skull, it can work uh, quite a lot. So yeah, and 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 that's basically the idea of this three uh, field, uh, this three option here. But this three option is kind of experimental. I try to play around with it and see if I can make more money with this one. And uh, for the last one, uh, this is a crafting base. I've been doing this uh, for a while, 
And what the crafting base uh, is something like this, uh, not necessarily an exalted items. This is like a rare items that already have all the mods that you need. What you need is just click it into all T5 and sell it. Usually something like this can worth like 100 to 300K, but sometimes it can worth uh, more than that too. So I tend to collect this kind of rare that have a mod that I think is already uh, pre-packaged like this so i can just um so it's easier to craft and just sell i've been making some money with this kind of stuff it's very easy like this one is strength uh, movement speed health and good on recovery speed i mean the strength is kind of unfortunate if the strength is dex this one probably going to work a lot more but if you can t5 all of this you can say this one is probably can sell it at 100 and 150k it's easily so um this kind of rare is still worth some money that's why i'm still have um this option inside the load filter. Yeah, this is all about the load filter. It's pretty straightforward. And if you want to make your own, uh, I will also link in the descriptions on for this uh, spreadsheet that I made uh, in last few days. So basically, uh, this is all the items that I'm scout on the market and have. Uh, I try to price list all of them, price check all of them, and. Of course, the price is going to change. If some new build coming in, some build coming out, uh, this price will change. But uh, at least at the time of recording, this is still what I use. And if you want to make your own loot filter, you can use this as a, a reference. And if you want to add something, let me know. I will add it inside here. Um, yeah, um, this is the spreadsheet. And this is uh, the second tab is for the idols. The, right now, it's a little bit of a mess. Um, like I don't have tab table or anything like that, but I am um, I haven't ha I haven't have a time to kind of short everything out. But I hopefully at some point I will able to make this uh, easier to read. And for the idols, uh, this is the same. Uh, for idol price checking, it's a little bit hard. So some of them is still empty, and um, this is probably what I still have to do in, in uh, like several days after this. But yeah, um, the last one is unique. And this is, I just started this one like yesterday. Um, I haven't really touched unique that much. This is basically the idea. I, I want to like list all the unique with like LP with zero to four and what the price is. So uh, you can use this tab as like, okay, uh, sh should I pick this legendary or not? Uh, should all uh, like uh, certain items, certain unique, like you only pick it like after a certain LP or something like that. But uh, this one is still work in progress. So yeah, uh, and this is the spreadsheet that I will link in the descriptions. Both of the load filter and the spreadsheet will be linked in the description. So if you guys want it, uh, you can grab it there. And yeah, I think that's all I have for you today. And thank you everyone for watching. If you like the video, if this is helpful, uh, consider leave a like and subscribe. This will help the channel a lot. And I will see you in the next one.